So let's go ahead and actually do a merge now. Um, remember, if you've been following along, hopefully in this these videos, we have two different branches, and we know that our car branch has a different chapter one than our master branch. And you know that star member tells us that we're on the master branch. So really, all you have to do is just do git merge car with the other branch, right? That's going to tell us you had a fast forward merged, right? It's going to tell us right here. Oh, you know, we just appended something because the master didn't have anything here. And then, as you just saw it pop up, it added this. Now this is a car story. And it told us, chapter one, we added two lines. It added that text and added another space. One file changed, two insertions. Two insertions, two lines. So that's literally how easy it was, just boom. And if we see get log, oh, let's not see it in a crazy, I forgot to do the one line. Let's do, let's just clear this. Git log one line. Now notice that commit simply jumped on top of our master commit. Because remember, we were on the master branch and before we couldn't see that commit. That was only on the car branch. Well, because this is a fast forward merge, all it does is just moves this commit onto the master branch. It just appends it. Because remember, that's what a fast forward merge is. Now, let's say we don't like that. Let's say, oh, that's dangerous. Or we want to make a separate commit that says, hey, I'm, I merged here. I know it's just a fast forward commit, but I want to make everyone know I merged. So let's go ahead and pop back to our car branch. So we're going to pop back to where, so we're on the car branch, right? Git log, one line. Okay, so there's our commit. I'm just going to delete that. I'm just going to use, let's look at chapter one. And I'm going to change something. I'm going to say, now this should be for our second commit. Okay, I'm going to save that. Git status. I'm going to add that and commit it. And we're going to call that added second commit line. Okay, so now let's look at our commit things here. Okay, so we added this second commit line <coughs> and we want to find out how we can merge this to our master branch and make it be a commit. We want to say, hey, we want we want to make we want to make a commit there that says we merged files at this time. Well, let's go back to our master. And we're okay, we're on the file master now. We want to do git log one line. Let's just make sure git status, make sure that we're all clear here. Perfect. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to do git merge and we're going to say dash no dash ff. Now, what this means is that even if we're just appending, I still want you to make a commit. I don't want you to just append that commit on there. I want you to make a new commit that says we merged files here. Now, you can look up a lot more of these little commands in the Git documentation, but know that it absolutely is possible to just say, wait, 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 wait. make a commit anyway. I know you're just appending it. But make a commit that reminds us, hey, we merged a big file here. This is when we merged our project. So then I'm just going to say car. Oh, yes, I did. That's my bad. Double dash is there. Yeah, get, look at that, get reminding you all these fun things. And now, now it's going to ask me too, would I like to make a message? And I'm going to say, sure. Um, we merged. And then I'm just going to save it. And then all you got to do is close this. And now if I look at git log one line, it's going to say right here, oh, merge branch car. It's going it, to, now notice, it did add second commit. It did still append it, but it added another commit that pretty much just serves to remind us, hey, a merge happened here. Now, you don't always have to do this. Uh, again, it's very kind of case-by-case -case basis, but... It is something that you know definitely could be helpful in your future, and, and I would recommend it actually, just because it's going to tell you, hey, a merge happened here, and merges are you know just good to know about. Of saying, okay, this is where that file came to merge. Um, now, also remember how we were looking at stuff. Um, if I show you this graph again, it shows you how we went off of the second commit, 
off of this uh, this car storyline. So the master was updated. We went to our car branch, we changed it, and then we merged it. So this is going to specifically show us we were on the car branch, we went off, and then we merged back onto the master. So this first row of stars, that's our master branch, and the second row, that's our car. And so we pretty much said, hey, we took our car branch, we merged it on back. Notice how other one didn't show that because we kind of needed a straightforward, you know, just append it. And I mean, it would have probably, we did it before. But either way, you're seeing how this graph tool can now become really cool and helpful of show us where these merges happened. And, you know, if we have a stray branch way out here that we haven't brought in. So those are just some basics of kind of, you know, how to get started and how to merge and get.